Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're talking about the latest stories, trends, and innovations live here from Capacity Europe 2023. We're in beautiful London. It is actually a very beautiful day today. It's nice day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. not bad. So uh, I, I came here uh, with a beautiful sunset behind. There was no rain, so I really can't complain. Um, so, we, so we are starting off the day here with uh, one of the leaders in uh, connectivity and digital infrastructure. Uh, we've got Edison Smith, Global VP of Sales for ConnectBase with us today. Welcome, Edison. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good morning. So we will go ahead and jump right in. You, Great. you yeah. all at ConnectBase uh, launched some really exciting news yesterday morning. So if you want to just give us a quick intro into that news and people can sure. find out more on the website, but just to get them excited about it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we've actually been offering this product on our platform for quite some time in the US, but it hasn't been available outside that market. So our US customers have been benefiting from it for a while. This is the first global market that we've launched it in. So what it is, is it's our plan and prospect tool. So um, ConnectBase provides a lot of location-based insights for the connectivity industry. And what we're doing with this tool is we've actually loaded um, tenancy data. So this is commercial companies across the UK and Ireland. Mm -hmm. And we've loaded that into our uh, industry-leading location platform. Mm -hmm. And now what it allows customers to do is to use this as a planning tool for building fiber routes. So you can look at what's my ROI going to be based on estimated telco spend in an area. You can also use it for customer targeting. Mm -hmm. So I could put in a UK business like you know, Waitrose or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and it will show me every location that they have around the UK. And it will also tell me where my network as a service provider intersects mm -hmm. with those buildings. So I can see, are they a good fit for my footprint? Do mm -hmm. I cover most of their locations and get them a good price or not? So from a, a targeting um, a tool for, mm -hmm. for your team's prospecting, it's a, it's a game changer. I mean, no one else is doing this in the market. And our intention is to continue to roll this out across other countries around the world. But the UK and Ireland was the first. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, that's super innovative. I mean, you can yeah. always look to connect space to, to stay on top of the market <laughs> when it comes to helping buyers and sellers in the connectivity yeah, industry. Yeah, we like to we like to stay ahead of stuff and yeah. do some cool things. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay, so um, so you uh, have been heading up uh, Mia Sales at Connect Base for about six months now. Since, so since May, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's been quite a busy time since then. Indeed. So um, I'm I'm wondering what's now that you you really know the the market. You know, you've been in the industry for quite a while before that yep. even. So um, and and you've been you know like so with Connect base for six months. So what do you feel like is the number one challenge that ConnectBase is solving specifically in EMEA for yeah. customers? Yeah. So yeah, I joined in May. I, I spent um, 15 years in APAC um, uh, in the telco industry and then five years in uh, in uh, EMEA in Europe. Mm -hmm. Um, and I joined ConnectBase in May, actually a week before ITW. And I went mm -hmm. to ITW and did 35 co company pitches. Um, you know, I was like, at a company that makes computers or a computer that makes companies, I don't know, um, a week into the job. But um, but so the challenges in EMEA, it's it's interesting that these are actually global challenges, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the cool thing for us is that the problems we solve exist everywhere, mm -hmm. which is actually a bad thing for the industry, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the challenge is that there's a lot of local knowledge here in the industry, right? If mm -hmm. you look at just the UK, I was at another conference, you know, a couple of weeks ago, um, that was around the connectivity uh, industry in the UK. And I'm walking around and there's companies there that have spent millions of dollars building fiber assets that I've never heard of. Hmm. And so global buyers just don't understand local markets. Mm -hmm. And that's a real problem if you're a service provider and you're trying to be found. That's our, that's our hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so what we're doing for EMEA customers, the same thing that we're doing for global customers, is we're giving them the ability to promote their capabilities, to show the world where they can provide services and, you know, and at what price and really tap into that global um, wholesale buying community mm -hmm. and expand their reach, right? Um, and it's very difficult to do if you're not on a digital platform, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's really interesting. I feel like it falls in line with a lot of the themes we've been hearing during other JSA TV interviews right. and just around at the conference, like the important importance of ecosystem as an industry right. and the power of partnership and how we all kind of have to work together in some way in order to meet the incredible demand that we're all faced with. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I think the, the challenge is the, like, the industry knows this, right? Right? We know we need to digitize. We know we need to, you know, transact better and, and collaborate better. Mm -hmm. And and people are trying to do that. They're building, you know, APIs and their own portals and it's et cetera. But again, to your point, if everyone's doing things in a silo, mm -hmm. then your customers, you know, buyers still have to log into 16 portals or buy, or build to 18 different APIs. And mm -hmm. it's just it's still fragmented. It's just digitally fragmented. Whereas when you when you 
bring on a, an ecosystem, a combined marketplace or an ecosystem like ConnectBase, you bring together everyone. It's the same reason that financial exchanges aren't fragmented. You want to trade on the NASDAQ, you got to connect to the NASDAQ, right? right. I mean, it's a, it's a centralized exchange. And that's what we're building for the connectivity industry, right? If you, mm. if you keep everyone separate, then you lose that benefit. But if you bring people together, they can collaborate, they can transact, and and you know it makes life easier for everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. I love that analogy. Yeah. yeah, everybody can understand that right. for sure. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. And so you had mentioned when you started back in May, right before ITW, Indeed. which sounds yeah. like uh, quite <laughs> that was hectic, a week into the job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, quite a show to get thrown into. Yeah. Um, and also around that time, I mean, we were we were announcing uh, the last mile exchange, right. you know, acquisition. Um, so ConnectBase acquired London. So this is very relevant for this show, um, yeah. LMX. Um, so uh, could you talk a little bit about that and really how it's helped ConnectBase customers? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So yeah, so LMX, I mean, Last Mile Exchange or mm -hmm. LMX as we call them, um, they had built the most powerful digital procurement platform, you know, mm -hmm. in, in Europe, right? Anything outside of the US. Um, and ConnectBase had the most powerful platform in mm -hmm. the US, right? Um, and ConnectBase customers were historically mostly US based um, and LMX was Europe and a little bit of APAC as well. So bringing these two platforms together, again, it, it comes back to this ecosystem, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there was a lot of conversations obviously about it. And, you know, we kind of realized that the platforms are better together, right? Mm -hmm. We bring together these two marketplaces. So the benefit for ConnectBase's existing customers being US mm -hmm. is that they now have access to all these European providers that weren't previously on the connected world, which is our platform. Um, and for Last Mile Exchange, we're bringing in a whole bunch of new functionality like the plan and prospect tool we just launched for mm -hmm. the UK, which they didn't do. So we're bringing in all this new functionality for their customers, right? Mm -hmm. And bringing in additional you know, tools that they can use. And again, it just comes back to that whole concept of we need to bring everyone in the industry globally mm -hmm. together onto one ecosystem and then allow them to make the decisions on who they buy from, who they sell to, how they transact, right? But if yeah. we keep people fragmented and separate, you know, it, it just it doesn't work. So the LMX acquisition was great. The team, we, we, the team's all on board with us now. Um, everyone's working really well together. Um, and, um, yeah, we're super excited to, to be partnering with them and, and working with them as one company. So yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, obviously, ConnectBase is very fast, fast growing company. So definitely a space to watch. Uh, and ConnectBase.com. Right? Absolutely. Go That's check the it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be found. Hashtag be found. That's right. Keep an eye on that for LinkedIn and Twitter, right? Yeah, yeah so. absolutely. Well, thank you so much. This was an incredible first interview for the day to kick us off. Thank, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. And uh, good luck with the rest of the conference. Have fun. Thank you so much. Same to you. And to all of our viewers, thank you so much for hanging out with us here at JSA TV. Happy networking.